This holiday season, we're giving you an early Christmas present, which is a session of Tales and Ian, Gardens, Trivia. Here are the contestants to give you a lot of holiday cheer. A beauty salon worker from Atlanta, Georgia, Alexander Mann. A candy writer from Winter Haven, Florida, Kay Versus. And, a dentist from Puerto Gordo, Florida, Cat Noel. And here is the host of Tales and Ian Gardens Trivia to give you an early holiday gift, Tiffany Young. Thanks, Christian. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Christmas edition of Tales Londian Gardens Trivia. This holiday season, our contestants are trying to get some Christmas cash to win, besides money in their stockings. Don't worry, we'll make sure that the contestants are naughty or nice this session. Now let's get to the game. Question 1. For $300, which artist famously cut off his own ear? Cat? Is it Vincent Van Gogh? Yes. Question 2. For $600, real is the currency of which country? Kate? Is it Brazil? Yes. Question 3. For $900, what are the official months of winter? Alexandra? Are they December, January, and February? Yes. Question 4. For $1,200, which city has the biggest St. Patrick's Day parade? Kate? Is it Chicago? Yes. Question 5. For $1,500 which composer scored 2000s classics such as Gladiator, Hannibal, Madagascar and Black Hawk Down? Cat? Is it Hans Zimmer? Yes. Question 6. For $300, what did Henry Ford patent in October 1911? Alexandra? Is it the first automobile transmission mechanism? Yes. Question 7. For $600, before the ill-fated Titanic struck an iceberg and sunk on April 14, 1912, what was the ship's intended destination? Cat? Is it New York City? Yes. Question 8. For $900, what gives a whiskey sour its frothy top? Alexandra? Is it egg white? Yes. Question 9. For $1,200 with a little help from my friends and Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds featured on which Beatles album? Cat? Is it Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? Yes. <laughs> Bonus question, also known as an early Christmas cash prize gift, Cat, since you have $3,600. Do you want to do it all or most of it? Christmas is tomorrow, so let's double it. All right, double or nothing, for $7,200. Question 10, for $3,600 what is the national flower emblem of Ireland? Is it the shamrock? That's the one we're looking for. <laughs> Question 11, for $300. Which country celebrates Anzac Day on the 25th of April? Cat? Is it Australia? Yes. Question 12. For $600, which actor played the Grinch? Alexandra? Is it Jim Carrey? Yes. Question 13. For $900, which fast food franchise first opened its doors on April 15, 1955? Kate? Is it McDonald's? Yes. Question 14. For $1,200 what is it called when animals sleep during the winter? Alexandra? Is it hibernation? Yes. Question 15. For $1,500 what sport did Michael Johnson set the world record for at the 1996 Olympics? Alexandra? Is it 200 meters? Yes. And that's round one. That was an easy round, no penalties, triple stumpers, or incorrect answers. And can't, I knew you can double up easy since you were in the lead with $7,500. But unfortunately, Cade, 
It's not Chicago, but it is New York. We are deducting $2,400, putting you at $300. And Alexandra, you know that New York is correct, so we are giving the $1,200 to you, putting you at $6,600. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. Well, now that Lucy did a manual review, we know that Chicago is wrong in question 4 and New York is right. So Lucy deducted almost all the money from Kate and added some money from question 4 to Alexandra. Now for the scores after round 1. Kate is in 3rd place with only $300. Alexandra is in 2nd place with $6,600. And Kate is $900 in the lead with $7,500. So let's do some interviews. Alexandra Manning is a beauty salon worker from Atlanta, Georgia. She might have a lot of gift certificates to give away before Christmas. Well, Tiffany, I went on 101 gift certificate templates.com forward slash gift certificate template hair salon and something says gift certificate templates for a hair salon. After that, it says, the following gift certificate templates were made for hair salons hair stylists. You can use the sample photos or you can replace them with your own photos. All of the text can be customized to suit your needs. If you are not sure how to use gift certificates to promote your business then please see our tips below. For birthday incentives, send your clients a gift certificate on the first day of their birthday month. Offer either a discount or a special package that can be used that month. Keep a record of your client's birthdays and addresses or email. A week before a client's birthday or on the first day of the birthday month, send a gift certificate in the post or by email. You can either provide a free treatment, such as a free blow dry, or give them a free treatment when they purchase another one, such as a free blow dry when they purchase a color treatment or a haircut. Since our gift cards can be personalized you can type each person's name to add that personal touch. You can also change the incentive for each person. You can also use this system for an anniversary. For quantity discounts, get one treatment free when you purchase a certain number of treatments. Since all of the text can be customized our gift certificate templates can really be used for any purpose. Decide how many treatments the client needs to order and type it on the card. Stamp the card each time the client arrives and give him or her the gift certificate once the client has reached the number of treatments. And for holiday specials, send your clients gift certificates for Christmas, Valentine's Day, or other holidays. Thank you Alexandra for your hard work this holiday season. Okay, Kate Ursus is a candy raver from Winter Haven, Florida. He is the best of being a dancer, bus driver, and tow truck operator. He is sometimes an auto-tuned vocalist for Angela's Galaxy. Kate, can you talk to me of what it's like to be that way? Well, Tiffany, to describe myself, I'll quote one of my favorite songs. I'm a candy raver, and I'm all about blur. Just give me love, and maybe some drugs, and I'll give you hugs. <laughs> That's basically it. Also I like being in the 54 member music group and the largest in history, Angela's Galaxy, as an auto-tune vocalist, being a school bus driver for Discovery Academy, being a tow truck operator for Da Vinci's Towing and Recovery, and being a dancer. The worst parts of a couple of my jobs are the craziest students on my bus and people not slowing down and moving over. My, I need to do a little more better in those jobs. Terms of RP, I'm willing to RP with others but you must meet the following criteria. 1. We're close friends, if you befriend me just to RP, things are not gonna work out. 2. I'm in the mood, I rarely am. 3. We share the same kings. And 4. I enjoy talking to you. That's pretty much it. Also, I'm more willing to RP with someone if the theme of said scenario is game show related. Put this on your area, which is the host's area, if you love a good hug. I absolutely love to receive hugs. Do you? Tiffany? Yes I do. Even when I leave Girls' Generation four years ago, I sure love to receive hugs from my fans. But it's a shame I'm not in the mood for SM Entertainment anymore. Come see me outside the Tailslandian Garden Studios facility if you love to be cuddled. I also really love to be cuddled. Do you, Tiffany? I just love to be cuddled, Cade. But no. I can only be cuddled at my place when you visit or at a recording studio or leisure area before your group's next song and music video. 
I am also a manager for your group as well besides being just a game show host. Okay, now with that, we have Kent Noel, a dentist from Punta Gorda, Florida. She always sung for music videos with different groups or singers, even rock bands. Yes Tiffany, I am a big sister cat villager in the Animal Crossing series who first appeared in Animal Crossing, New Leaf. Her catchphrase is a portmanteau of purr and pretty. In New Horizons, I have the music hobby and may sing anywhere without the need of a stereo. I also sing backup for Boys to Men, my favorite, and also create singles under my label, TuneCore, which is also the label of Layla Tupper, also known as Lada. Me and her sing duets at Open My Karaoke Nights. Well Cat, I also sing, but due to my contract with SM Entertainment being over, I cannot anymore. Layla Tupper is also a contestant who won $20,601 during the Thanksgiving holiday. And yet, she ended the game before the final round with a little bit over $10,000. I agree, and, as you know, Tiffany, I run a dentist office called First Knoll Dental, and Brenna Footman, my colleague, has another office next to mine. So in total, there are two offices in Punta Gorda, for dental surgery and repairs, go to Brenna's office. For dental hygiene resolving, go to my office. First Knoll Dental is the number one leading office in Punta Gorda and all of Charlotte County, Florida. If you want to have your teeth repaired, fixed, pulled, cleaned, or want to have your dentures fixed, First Knoll Dental in Punta Gorda is the place to go. Well, in other words, First Noel Dental is located on 1300 Worth Street in Punta Gorda. Now let's move on to round two. Dollar values are doubled. So let's get rolling. Question 16. For $600, who is credited with the invention of the internet in 1989? Alexandra? Is it Tim Berners-Lee? Yes. Question 17. For $1,200 in Back to the Future, which is released in 1985, which year do Marty and Doc end up in when they travel back in time? Kate? Is it 1955? Yes. Question 18. For $1,800 the 1988 hit song Waiting for a Star to Fall was written by Boy Meets Girl after seeing a falling star at which iconic 80s singer's concert? Cat? Is it Whitney Houston? Yes. Question 19. For $2,400 which of these famous players isn't one of the top 10 NBA players of the 80s? Alexandra? Is it Michael Jordan? Yes. Alexandra, I know that despite of the extra money at the end of the first round, you have discovered the bonus question. Double or nothing? However, Cat, on the other hand, is now jealous that you were $300 in the lead over her. So, how much of your $9,600 do you wish to gamble? Just $5,000 to settle her down. If that's what you want. Question 20. For $5,000 which iconic album by Michael Jackson, released in 1982, is still the second best-selling album of all time, right after Eagles' greatest hits 1971 to 1975? Is it Thriller? That's the one we're looking for. <laughs> Question 21. For $600. What is the name of the princess who is kidnapped by the evil Bowser in multiple Mario video games? Kate? Is it Peach? Yes. Question 22. For $1,200 which of these Star Wars movies was released in the 80s? Alexandra? Is it The Return of the Jedi? Yes. Question 23. For $1,800 which child actor rose to stardom in a 1982 Spielberg film about an unfortunate alien that gets stranded on Earth? Alexandra? Is it Drew Barrymore? Yes. Question 24. For $2,400 when do the events of Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark take place? Cat? Is it 1936? Yes. Question 25. For $3,000 what is the name of the Erie Historic Hotel in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining? Yes. Is it Overlook Hotel? Yes. Question 26. 
for $600, which is the only cult classic movie featuring Harrison Ford that wasn't released in the 80s. Kate? Is it Apocalypse Now? Yes. Question 27. For $1,200, in what year did the Berlin Wall fall, heralding the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991? Kate? Is it 1989? Yes. Question 28. For $1,800, which 1984 comedy action movie starred Eddie Murphy as a street smart Detroit cop? It took $234 million at the U.S. box office, making it the highest grossing film of the year. Kate? Is it Beverly Hills Cop? Yes. Question 29. For $2,400, what was the name of the theme song from the 1983 romantic drama Flash Dance? Kate? Is it What a Feeling? Yes. Question 30. Which is the last question? For $3,000, which of the following popular kids' games is the only one not to have been released in the 80s? Alexandra? Is it Pac-Man? Good guess, but not what we're looking for. Kate? Is it Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes. Wow! All three players are over $10,000 at the end of our second round. How cool was that? But well, we have two wrong, but the round was easy anyway. But Alexandra, you are good the way you are. Cade, I knew we have to give the $2,400 back to you, putting you at $13,500, which is good news. Now we'll head to the final round, but first let's check the scores. All right now, we have Kate in third place with $13,500, Alexandra in the lead with $14,600, and Kat with $100 in the lead with $14,700. Now let's head on to the final round. All right now, the category is... The Matrix. Yes, The Matrix Trilogy. In that case, to win more holiday cash... You have 60 seconds to write down your answer to this question. And here is the question now. The cast were asked to read up on psychology and philosophy to prepare for their roles in the Matrix trilogy. In which of the following texts did we see Neo hide his illegal computer files? You guys have 60 seconds to figure out what Matrix movie did that happen. Good luck to all of you. Your time starts now. I swear, seriously, I swear, if all of our players tie at $15,000, $20,000, or $25,000, I will throw a fit. Anyways, let's start with Candy Bear Cade, with $13,500. What did you come up with? Is it simulacra and simulation? Of course it is. How much did you add to that? $11,500. Fantastic, and that, my friends, brings him up to $25,000. Now let's head next door to Alexandra Manning, with $14,600. What did you come up with, simulacra and simulation? Yes. Your bet? $10,400. Awesome, oh, my, god. She also goes to $25,000. But let's see what Cat Noel has came up. What did she put down? 
simulacra and simulation. Yes, and I believe she is going to put in a three-way tie with her bet, or will she? Yes. $10,300. Oh, my. Freaking. God. $25,000 for all of the players. I am afraid I am too ticked off to give all of them a tiebreaker question. Oh, boy. I'm at a loss of words for a situation like this. Hey, everybody. Easy come, easy go. Because all of our contestants wound up with $25,000. This is all the holiday cash that they have gotten. Good day. Next time we hold a Tales Lundian Gardens trivia session like this, we're going to avoid ties or freeway ties like this one. But our player, Pat, along with two other players, Kate and Alexandra, are happy with all the Christmas cash they've got. However, she got gift cards from her patients and co-workers at her dental office and her to board it. So jump. until next time, I am Tiffany Young. See you again real soon. Happy holidays and stay safe. This session of Tales and the Gardens Trivia is eventually served by by DHX. Also this show is recorded and taped at Tales and the Gardens Studios in Charleston, South Carolina. Special thanks to this robot who sped up the video making process, his name is Tex, and he do anything that slows our video making process down to a crawl. Don't talk to anyone and never interfere with angry people who want their content removed.